Hi there guys, welcome to Dino's Vault. As you read the title, Yamaha have just launched the FZX 2023 model, which is India's first ethanol based production motorcycle. It's a flex fuel ethanol based production motorcycle uh, or motorcycle to make it into production because it comes with the E20 certification, which means you can use a blend of 20% ethanol with 80% fuel. Now, what are the advantages of having ethanol? First of all, it's a lot more eco-friendly uh, when compared to uh, electric vehicles is what uh, the government claims because our government is trying to promote ethanol uh, flex fuel philosophy uh, to make it more affordable to help us you know, save ourselves from the horrible fuel prices that are shooting through the skies. So uh, ethanol is more eco-friendly when compared to electric vehicles because the battery dump like once the battery is dead and gone uh, the battery wastage dump can really result in toxic waste as well is what they claim so ethanol has uh, first of all a higher octane numbers what does this translate into it translates into better performance and better economy also when you blend ethanol with the fuel again the octane number rises as a result the engine is more responsive and the uh, fuel burning for uh, the combustion process is more complete which means lower emissions lesser emissions lesser carbon dioxide being released so that again helps in creating a greener and cleaner environment so these are the advantages of ethanol and ethanol is uh, considerably cheap when compared to fuel significantly cheaper than fuel so that is the way we are headed uh, as per the vision of uh, our government and my right impression in Jaipur, across across uh, the palaces, the roads, riding alongside my biker brothers, that's coming up uh, in the next video. This is about the introduction, the walk around of the FZX Yamaha, which comes still with single channel ABS, but it gets traction control. So don't get confused just because you find a uh, you know speed sensor at the back. So that is uh, given for traction control, which this bike gets, and that really helped because while well, ascending and descending uh, i mean was ascending especially we needed excess wheel spin for us to help get through those slippery rocky conditions uh, but then uh, the bike uh, uh, has the same power and torque figures and it comes with the tried and tested uh, 150cc power plant and uh, that are the updates you get a new color scheme with golden rims now and led turn indicators as standard and the led turn indicators look nice and premium so that's pretty much it let's go ahead with the rest of the walk around now having a look at the fzx especially in this location this is the samod palace in jaipur and uh, very grateful to yamaha for inviting us over a royal kind of uh, experience here you can look at the palace it's absolutely surreal very peaceful and uh, lovely atmosphere oozing with royalty and uh, magnificence and majesty now this is the fzx 2023 model now we all know that the strong point of this is the fit and finish now everything on the bike is metal it's actually metal tank steel tank you have a steel fender you have this brace right over here everything is top notch in terms of build quality even the seat is of very good quality rip pattern seat red stitching it looks premium so for person who is looking for a city commuter this is the best option because first of all it gets a tried and tested 150 cc power plant single cylinder air cooled fuel injected engine uh, that's been used in the fz around 12 ps of max power and 13 newton meters of max torque it's a torquey motorcycle now one thing i had pointed out 
when I had first reviewed it were the foot pegs. I didn't like the position of the foot pegs being a little forward set. Yes, for a commuter, it looks good. For a commuter, it looks good. But if you want spirited riding, if you want to use it like a scrambler because it came with on-road off-road tires. So if you want to use it like a scrambler, we need this to go a little back. Slightly rear set or center set foot pegs like what we get with the Hunter would have really changed the game the way people look at it it would have been a fun motorcycle to ride to throw around dirt drift around jump around it would have been perfect but then and it would have been okay for the commuting as well but just because the foot pegs are forward set it serves only the commuting purpose now for those who's look, who are looking for a reliable yamaha commuter it is a good option built really well led headlamp bifunctional led which does the job of high beam and low beam weight savings and you have DRLs, LED DRLs, you have LED turn indicators now being included. Uh, you have the aluminium plate right over here to add on a premium touch. Again, you have this all blacked out exhaust. Looks good, even the heat shield is blacked out now. Tires are neatly laid out. As I told you, on-road, off-road tires. So doesn't serve the purpose when you have forward set foot pegs. 140 section rear tire, monoshock, 41 mm front forks, 282 mm disc up front and maybe 220 mm disc at the back and now it is OBD compliant, OBD2 compliant as well as is supposed to be with all the motorcycles and the vehicles that are being launched in 2023. So what is OBD2 compliance? Basically it's a diagnostic tool that keeps a check on the emission norms. It has increased the cost and for a 150cc bike costing more than 1,30,000 and this kind of a design we don't know depends on would you prefer this would you like to buy this would you prefer the fz the new fzs version 4 feel free to comment below let me know this is just a walk around i'll quickly give you my ride impression so stay tuned for that We're just coming up up next <laughs>